No, it's really good. Uh, us and the guys getting together uh, every practice, going hard all day, and um, just come out and put up points against a really good team. They got shooters galore, and we just had to go out. We had to get the boards. We had to put up the points, and we did. Came out victorious, and I, I, you guys were up by 16 uh, going into the fourth quarter. They got it down to uh, you know single digits there in, in the fourth quarter. What were you guys able to do down the stretch there to, to pull away and hold on for a win? Uh, mainly we were able to pass pretty good. We had a few turnovers, a few costly, but we just got to learn as time goes on. Got to slow it down, run just simple stuff. The little things is what killed us. So, uh, what, what about your night overall? Uh, how were you able to, to find some points tonight? Well, started with my teammates. I always got to facilitate the ball to you. And um, usually boards, put the boards up. Offensive boards count a lot in every game. And defensive boards, getting the boys out going, getting down the court, basically cleaning up. Uh, Nolan, for, for you tonight, uh, what, what, what's it mean to get a, a victory like this? You know, you guys got your first win last week, and then you, you come in here and we're able to, to gut one out. What's what's that mean to you guys? I mean, it feels great. Like in the locker room, everyone's like together. We're, we're a team, everything, and it's great. We're always encouraging each other. Practice and game, we always got great energy from everybody, and it's encouraging, and, and it encourages everyone to do their best on the court when it comes time to do that. Yeah. Uh, you, you made some big free throws there in the uh, the fourth quarter, stepped up and, and knocked them down. What was kind of going through your head there down the stretch? Close ball game and, and your team needed some shots. Well, I'm like whispering to myself, like just like practice, Soderberg has us do a lot of uh, uh, free throw stuff, and I really appreciate that because that's really important going down in that end part there. We had to put it away, and, and I feel like all the work we do at practice is, is really important to, to being able to calm myself and, and, uh, and put those in at the end there. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys struggled in the first half of the season, but now you've won two out of your last three. How, how's, how's that feel? What's the, the mood of the team like at this point? Well, it's great. You know, it's, it's really bad to start out 0-6, whatever it was, and, and getting wins is a huge part and pushing that forward and getting more, and, and it's really good. We got this today. We need the energy against Red Oak tomorrow. They beat us last time. We can't let that happen again, and, and all this energy we're getting, we need everyone to contribute. And, and just play the best that they can, and, and we're on that track right now. Nice play. Uh, I was really excited for the guys. Um, you know, we, we came looking into this week. We have three games this week. We have four next week, and we really wanted to set the tone for the next two weeks with a win tonight. Uh, really proud. We, uh, we shot the basketball pretty darn well tonight, which was nice for a change. We didn't have to scrap and claw to get 40 points. So it was fun to see a couple of those guys step up and make some big shots. Uh, you guys had a pretty comfortable lead going into the fourth. They were able to, to get it back down to, to single digits. But uh, how big was that for, for your team to be able to, to win a close game like this and, and do those things right down the stretch? Um, it's one of those things, you know, when I told the guys in one of those timeouts, we don't have a lot of um, you know, time in these areas where we have the lead late or we're trying to hang on to a win. And I said, you know, that comes with winning. And so it's one of those games that, you know, you get more learning maybe out of those last two minutes of um, turnovers and things like that. But uh, Nolan stepped up, made four huge free throws for us down the stretch, got a couple key rebounds um, from the big guys down low and helped hang on to the win. Yeah. You mentioned Nolan there. How big is it? Freshman coming off the bench and he knocked down some, some big shots late for you. Oh, it was huge. Um, that's what I told him coming into the game. I said, we need that spark off the bench, uh, bring the energy. Uh, and I got a couple guys that that's what I want them to do is just effort, energy all over the place. Uh, give us a breather for two, three minutes and then get back out there. You've won uh, two of your last three and now you've got Red Oak and uh, Clorinda this week. How do you kind of manage the emotions and, and get everybody ready to go on a quick turnaround tomorrow night? Um, you know, we played a really great game against Red Oak the first time. We were winning for most of it. They got hot late. Uh, they made some big time three pointers down the stretch. So anytime Shenandoah Red Oak is on the schedule, I think both teams get really excited for that rivalry.